That'd be Rex, I guess. That's uh, That's King Owens there. And what did he do? King Owens on uh, When I am spent, all that will accurately remain are the first-hand memories of those that witnessed me. And after they are gone, rough second, third-hand accounts, faded memories triggered by a specific circumstance that revive a faded vapor of an instance before, settling to be a picture in a scrapbook, eventually an unidentifiable shell in a line of humans whom very few can even seem to recall. Entire lives, generations of experiences, memories, all finally chalked up to a picture or two in the bookshelf of a grandchild who can neither recall the experience nor its contents. Memory is fickle. Without it, you don't have much. So, let's pay that memory forward. For all our sake. Don't forget him. Now, Bertha was the oldest, then Luella, and then Ethel, and Aunt Ed, Junior and me. I was three years, not hardly three, about three. I remember going through the house, mother was dying, and I remember coming around to the, we lived in one of these little four-room houses, and I remember coming around through there, and they was telling me to be quiet. Had what they call black mold cancer. I'd say she was probably in her thirties. We lived on a river down in what they call Three Point Grocery. Down in we lived in a little house up on a hill line. And the dance hall was down the road, so we'd go down there every Friday night and Saturday night. And we, they'd tell us, now listen, when the fight breaks out, y'all go behind the rock color, because the rock color was on the corner. And that rock color would protect us, because me and Junior, we'd duck behind that rock color. Uh, I was probably five. They, they, the sure thing is them Jones boys, when they come in, there was three of them, it was Ross, Alec, and Bob. I can remember one night, we was down on the river bank, and that's when the, they were fighting that, and that and old Bob, he hit the ground over there, and just laid out. And somebody hit old uh, Ross across the head with something across that. And all that skin just fell down over his eyes. <laughs> and he'd hold it back with one hand swing with the other arm. You had to get tough to die. They got through fighting that night and they looked over and Ross looked at Ellie and said, where's Bob? Is he still laying over on the ground? <laughs> they said, Bob, Bob, you all right? Bob said, is it over? <laughs> he said, he's laying over until he got through. <laughs> and he got up. Papa Jasper met Kate. Katie worked at the cotton mill. Okay. And she worked on the second floor over there and she'd look out and see us over at, you know, we'd be on top of the house. What for? Just call them? Just uh, jumping off, going out there and jump off the top of the house. In the water? And just on the ground. So we just... would jump off the roof onto the ground? Yeah. Uh-huh. And, uh... Why? Would it hurt you when it came? No, uh, it wasn't that high. Probably no higher, much higher than the door for everybody's land on our feet. So we just sat there playing, and she seen us doing it out the window of the cotton mill. She hollered out, and we <laughs> we know we've done caught. Yeah. <laughs> so would y'all do that often, or would that be one thing you yeah, just Yeah, we did all the time, you know. Climb up on top of the house, jump off, just, just playing, acting. That's all we had to do when we didn't have enough left to do. So we do that all the time, messing around. I don't even that black hair. Still rocky.
Good God, love it. Try <laughs> that wave again. None of y'all know how to wave. <laughs> she's got it going oh, now. She's <laughs> Lord, if we could roll them years back. Mm. 